so with this one, it's it's just a one large piece of cloth. It's a piece of muslin. Um, there's uh -huh. two layers, and there's some paper on it. Uh -huh. Now in the days that I was at Irvine, mm -hmm. I would go through the dumpsters behind the scenic. Ah. There, uh, the theater department would have big muslin. Uh, stage sets yeah. and I uh, started getting stuff out of the dumpster because it was unused if it was uh, a backdrop and if the un unpainted stuff was just great. I, when I discovered that I was in heaven. Yeah. So I um, started sewing that together. Some of it had holes in it and I started putting it together and then, mm -hmm. then I started getting into more of the sewing of the old work. The mm -hmm. other thing I did was um, I started burying the work in organic material, grass cuttings and um, leaves mm -hmm. to give it a, an organic coloration. Mm -hmm. And I would do two or three pieces together. Some would be paper that was perhaps red, some of it would be blue mm -hmm. or green, and then I would wet everything, roll it up, and then let it ferment for about two weeks. Yeah. And I don't believe that I put this red tint on this piece. It was rolled up with something that had the red yeah. pigment in it and yeah. bled. Well, you know, there is no physical act of painting in these. But uh, the only thing painting. that there is physical, there's more like uh, uh, designing, not designing, but placement of elements. Uh -huh. Placements of, develop, of mm -hmm. elements.